Today is our day, where we finally become one. Just you, me, with God as our center. As I'm standing here right now, facing you, surrounded by our loved ones, all I see is our beautiful future. I have been waiting for this day for as long as I can remember. Eight years seems like an eternity, but it has been so worth it. I always imagined this moment, yet it doesn't compare, because you and this day go beyond my wildest imagination. As I look at our beautiful future, all I see is a future full of joy, laughters, non-stop adventures, spontaneous activities, but most importantly, I see us overcoming the obstacles that life always brings. Those that shape us into better people, the ones that make our love stronger. Our love has been wonderful, and so today, I make my promise to you. I promise that I will respect you, be faithful to you, encourage you, and support you in all you do. I promise to love you unconditionally. If there's one thing that eight years of trial and error has taught us, it's that Eddie is weak. He is easily angered, frustrated, self-centered, and miserably broken. Leading up to this day, I've been asking God, how can I possibly marry this amazing woman in my current condition? How do you expect me to strengthen her when I am so weak? How can I prepare for this day and every day that will follow? And he said, Eddie, you'll never fully be ready. No matter how hard you try, you will never, ever be perfect. You see, I had it all wrong. The more I tried to find answers, the more questions I had. The fear of failure led me to try and live out our future before we had even ever actually begun it. Now I understand why you always read spoilers before you've barely even begun a show. By the first episode, you already know who dies at the end, who gets pregnant, and who's going to live until season 8. It's the security of knowing where the author is going to take you on this roller coaster of emotion, and being able to mentally prepare for the outcome before they even happen. By the time I find out that you've read that one of your beloved characters is about to meet their demise, you've already gone on a hiatus of the show for three months taken up meditation, and have stocked up on an unlimited supply of tissues and chocolate. Because you know what's coming and you're giving yourself time to prepare for the work. Unfortunately, life isn't so. Things happen, plans change, and we're thrown in uncomfortable situations without spoiling. Am I scared? Oh yeah. But that fear is eclipsed by excitement now. Am I lost? Confused? You best believe that I am. I have no idea how to be a husband or how to lead us or where we're even going. But no level of anxiety can ever crush that adventurous spirit that pushes us to new heights. Because while everyone else around us reaches the base of a mountain and decides, nah, it's too hard, let's go back. You and I always stare at the top and decide that's exactly where we want to go. This is the part where you're saying in your mind, Honey, I told you your vows were going to be better than mine. But the reality is I can't sit here and make unrealistic promises to you and come up with generic vows or some try-hard, overly elaborate story for the camera. And it's for that reason that I vow to disappear forever. Not because I am a coward, but because I choose to remove myself from the picture so that Jesus can take my place as the man that you truly deserve. I vow to never lead you not because I don't carry dreams or aspirations for our lives, but because my plans may fail. And so I choose to give God full control over our future. And finally, I vow to never love you. Not because my love for you has died, but because my love is imperfect and has the possibility of loving conditionally. But we know that God's love is perfect. La Biblia dice que es honroso en todos el matrimonio se le consagra como símbolo de la unión mística entre Cristo y, la, y su iglesia. Ahora yo lo declaro esposo y esposa en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén.
You are my greatest gift. And today, I give myself to you. You are my best friend, my princess, my inspiration. Here's to our for real, for real.